inside the outside one. Um, but it does wrap around too much, so you have quite a snug fit. We could have actually taken a bit more off this lip, but you can see it's quite chunky. The idea is that you fill this up with water. Um, this is um, a bit of a fit to come out. It's quite a clever little thing. Um, it's a valve, so that when it's in two parts, you this bit. That is your kind of like gas end thing. So you pop it in there. That valve in there now is, is closed. So the money can go in, that pops open. And to get it out again, you can press that collar down and pull it out. And it closes it off. So the best thing to do is before you actually connect your hoses onto the end of here, is to put them in there so that your valves are open. And when this you're going to fill this up with water, water to the top of this barrel here, and then submerge that barrel in so that it's absolutely full of water. Yeah. And then as the uh, biogas is generated, it'll come in here through the inner pipe, and just come over here into the That's the outside. And as the gas comes in, it'll work this up. And the higher it gets, the more pressure that you've got. And you can actually increase the pressure by putting bricks and things on top of it as well. So, um, we got this to kind of like take off earlier on. It should have washers at either side. This is a bank head fitting for the gas. And that goes on the inside, and that goes on the top there. And when you, you screw that in, you'd make a hole that's kind of like big enough to screw that in. Um, but when you get it through to the other side, you need to wrap um, valve tape. Um, to actually make sure that it's, it's tight when you actually screw this bit on. And you try and make sure that you're winding it on in the direction that you're actually screwing as well, because otherwise it just all bounds up. Um, and then it should be with a bit of look, gas tight, but the, it's really important before you actually start doing this to sort of test for gas tightness throughout the whole system. So fill it up with water first of all before you start putting the cow milk and things in. And um, as you can like filling it up, then you can test you know, if this is on the water, you can like see that there might be, if there's gas coming out, you can see as it'll be bubbling. That's the test for yeah. the end. Yeah. 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 It is, yeah. If you've got um, and the old bike testing as well, where you put a bit of washing up the clothes on as well to see bubbles where you have, can't get something under the water. So, I find it recently, just as a maybe, not even a quick fix, but plumbers have like, a, it's almost like a PVC. I can't remember what the, the particular so paint is. Yeah, it's not silica. Right. It's a bit cleverer than that. Right. But uh, you can literally like put like a thin film on, get like these gauze and whatnot, and you can patch up quite large holes. Oh, right. But if, if you make it in air in the first place, yes, I know. But just, that's a better way of doing it. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Just in case, though. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So we've got an inlet pipe coming here from the digester. We'll have the outlet pipe coming here. And this is a gas scrubber. Now, this ideally should be between the digester and your water tank because it also tracks as a, a condensation trap. When the gas is coming off the digester, it's coming out with quite a lot of um, water vapour in there as well. And as it gets into the sort of cold of the pipe, then it will, you know, start condensing out and you end up with bubbles of um, liquid there that your gas actually has to go through. So you put the condensation trap in, or you can put one of these at the lowest point. Now this is kind of like dual purpose because this will act as a condensation trap. The water kind of like as it comes up here, it will run down here or into here. And inside here. We've got ferrous sulfate, uh, which is this little chemical here, and it's the stuff that um, women get in their iron tablets if they're anemic, uh, but obviously not in this quantity. <laughs> in this quantity, it's really quite not good for people. Um, and the, you know, we should kind of like look a bit more into the hazards that are around the commercial software, but that's, that's what it looks like anyway, ferrous sulfate. In the biogas, there's not only carbon dioxide, um, there's about 60% methane is biogas, but there's also hydrogen sulfide as well, which is the stuff that smells like bottom eggs. And that's not good for your lungs, but it's quite corrosive, you know, in you know, quite small quantities as well, so we would really like to take that out of the biogas before we get to burn it, because it corrodes everything that it touches as well. Don't the bacteria actually love the sulfur? That's what James was talking about earlier. Yeah. 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 I think so. Um, it would be really nice. If you we could, don't know much about the yeah, yeah. bacteria. I was working 
checking uh, recently with that too. Um, right. uh, there's, there's a lot yeah. of... Yeah. Oh, I need to delve into it more. Yeah. yeah. Well, yeah. it would be really interesting knowing. Yeah. Pardon? Yeah. yeah. The German yeah. dentist just had... They have wooden spikes and spokes at the top, and then they have just a big net. Yeah. And the bacteria grow on it. They don't have the seed or anything, they just grow. They just grow. Yeah, so they have air injection. Once you do the air injection, which is the idea behind that. Yeah. And they, they look like stalactites. Yeah. And then they just grow. Oh, what's happening in here? I've got that stuff. This is a chemical solution rather than a, you know, a nicely evolved, you know, plants <laughs> millennium home system that we really need to look into. But um, it's, it's basically iron in solution, and that grabs the, the um, it's ferrous sulfate, but you can use any iron salt in solution, is the theory. And it should actually grab the hydrogen sulfate as it moves through, and it should precipitate out as ferrous sulfate. So that's diluted at the moment, the more sulfate you pack at it, you know, the, the more it grabs it, it will drop out into sort of a crystal again at the bottom. You have to bubble it through? Yeah, so good question. So we've got two outlets here, so we've got one that goes right down to the bottom of the tank, which is the input, so the gas comes all the way down. Comes out at the bottom and bubbles back up through the ferrous sulfate and it's caught at the top before it goes, in this case, out to the bottom. So, this is the burner where we have. This is the one that Roman actually uses in Holland. Um, and all he does there is actually just stick the gas pipe underneath, but that's obviously not the gas pipe in between there and then there's a gap. So, um, he only can put um, as much gas through as his technical solution to have. It's a really good idea to have something called a flame trap. Uh, between where you're burning and where you're storing your gas because the flame can actually work its way back up the pipe to your storage system. And the flame trap is basically just a gauze or a screwed up bottle of um, iron filings or something just to break up the flame and stop it actually travelling back up the pipe. Good idea. Yeah. This is the one of the Simpsons um, units. So this is an actual design for biogas. And it's, you can see it's just really simple. They've got the inlet. Uh, you've got your burner, uh, you've got a little adjuster here, which is a bit more sophisticated than this one. This one's just taken straight off a, a normal gas cooker. You can see it's you know, nothing particularly special. So where do you store your gas? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So is it, you know, as it comes in there, it's left so. So it just kind of fills out. That doesn't fill up at all. That's kind of a kind of constant thing. This is where it all kind of gathers. Um, you say normally you just go around, through it. You, ideally, you would have that between your digester and the gas thing. Yes. Yeah, so it's just a compensation trap. So you can just push down the air and come down the gas. Yeah. I mean, as it lifts up, you'll kind of like get some pressure anyway because it's gravity will pull it down. But if you want a bit more pressure, you can just press it down a little bit on the top. That needs a bit of calibration and you know, kind of trial and error job. What kind of tool do you use to, to make the screw the screw holes in the plastic? Do you have a you're just using <laughs> <laughs> but, but, but they're they're fresh, aren't they? Yeah, they're fresh. 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 Yeah, they're fresh.